Hey everybody, you're watching West Wing Week. We'll, we'll, we'll. Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president talked with podcast star Mark Marin in Los Angeles, spoke with mayors at a conference in San Francisco, and hosted an LGBT reception back in the People's House. The First Lady wrapped up her trip to Europe, and the Supreme Court issued a landmark decision ensuring millions of Americans will continue to receive tax credits that make their health insurance more affordable. That's June 19th to June 25th, or Five this, years in, this is, is no Healthcare longer in America. About a law. This is Healthcare in America. On Friday, the First Lady stopped by United States Army Garrison Vicenza's Family Day as part of her Joining Forces initiative. There was a barbecue, a dramatic reading of Don't Play With Your Food, and a surprise baby shower for the military base's mothers-to-be. We know how much you guys do for us, and we want you to know that we got your backs while you're going through this part of your lives. You're not alone, all right? Meanwhile, halfway around the world, Marine One flew over Los Angeles and touched down in Pasadena, home of the Rose Bowl. The president then drove to his old stomping grounds near Occidental College in a garage tucked away in Highland Park. Nice How you doing? I'm great, man. How are you? This looks like fun. It's, it'll be How good. How fun is this going to be? Uh, well, it, as soon as I can it's breathe again, fun. it's going to be great. He had a conversation with Mark Marin for his podcast oh titled this WTF. Cool. This you can place. check out the full podcast like online. Well, you used to live around here. I did. This, yeah. this, I was explaining to folks, uh, Pasadena, these are my old haunts, man. And then the president left Southern California bound for Northern California. The president of the United States. Where he spoke at the United States Conference of Mayors meeting in San Francisco. You're always in the hunt for good ideas, no matter where they come from. And I'm going to embarrass Jerry for a second. Uh, he took his wife, Madeline, to Paris a few years after they got married. And she took in all the splendor, the Champs-Élysées, and he took photos of garbage cans. Yeah, that's a mayor for you. On Monday, back in D.C., the president hosted an iftar dinner to celebrate the Muslim holiday of Ramadan. On Tuesday, the White House convened a summit for citizens to come together to discuss why addressing climate change is imperative to protecting our nation's public health. There was a flurry of online activity as well. On Wednesday, in the Roosevelt Room, the president delivered remarks on the completion of the hostage policy review. Many of the families told us that they at times felt like an afterthought or a distraction. Too often, the law enforcement or military intelligence officials they were interacting with uh, were begrudging and giving them information. That ends today. I'm making it clear that these families are to be treated like what they are, our trusted partners and active partners in the recovery of their loved ones. Then across the hall in the cabinet room, the president held a U.S.-China strategic and economic dialogue and consultation Later, the president hosted an LGBT Pride Month reception to celebrate our lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender brothers and sisters. Come on over here, don't be so nervous, come on. And beforehand, he got to meet an American hero in the fight for LGBT equality and the man behind the Supreme Court case. Regardless of what the court does, this thing's happening. It's moving. On Thursday, the Supreme Court upheld a critical part of the Affordable Care Act, protecting the tax credits that millions of Americans have benefited from since the law was enacted. Three generations ago, we chose to end an era when seniors were left to languish in poverty. We passed Social Security. Two generations ago, we chose to end an age when Americans in their golden years didn't have the guarantee of health care. Medicare was passed, and it helped millions of people. This generation of Americans chose to finish the job, to close the books on a history where tens of millions of Americans had no hope of finding decent, affordable health care. We chose to write a new chapter where, in a new economy, Americans are free to change their jobs or start a business, chase a new idea, raise a family, secure in the knowledge that portable, affordable health care is there for us and always will be. So this was a good day for America. Let's get back to work. So stay engaged with us online and remember, you can find out more information about any of these topics and see complete videos of these events at whitehouse.gov. Thanks so much for checking out this edition of your West Wing Week.